Hi class, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a scatter plot and find the correlation in Minitab. So to start with, I have this data set of the 100 top NBA players for 2013. And as you can see, there's a lot of information in this data set. It has their rank for those top 100 players, the player's name, the position, their height, their weight, what team they were on, and whether or not they made the playoff team. So to start off with, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this data right into Minitab so that I can start to analyze it. So all I have to do is highlight it all down to the bottom, copy it by hitting Control C, head over to Minitab, make sure I'm on that top gray row and hit Control V to paste. So what I want to look at with this data set is the height and weight of these basketball players. If you look at the relationship between height and weight of people in a general population, there is a relationship, but it's a little bit on the weaker side because there's so many factors that can impact a person's weight um, besides their height. You know, genetics, how much you eat, how much you exercise. But uh, what I was thinking with these basketball players is that these are all athletes. So they might have similar type lifestyles. And I was hoping that this data would be a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to start by doing a scatter plot because, of course, the very first thing we always, always do is graph our data. So I come up here to the graph menu and I select scatter plot. And I'm just going to start with a simple scatter plot. So I click on OK. And in this case, the X and the Y, there's not really one that comes before the other, like there is in other examples. So I'm going to choose weight to be my Y and height to be my X, mostly because later on, if I want to make some predictions, I would probably want to use somebody's height to predict how much they weigh, mostly because I think if I asked people how much they weighed and tried to predict their height, People would lie to me about their weight. At least I know I would lie if somebody asked me. So I click on OK, and here is my scatter plot. And there's three things that we look for on a scatter plot. We look for form, direction, and strength. Form is what is the overall pattern that we're seeing. And in this case, I think it's pretty clear that we have a nice linear pattern going on here. You can see that you could draw a nice, lovely straight line through those data points. The direction, um, well, if as x increases, y increases, then it's a positive direction. And if as x increases, y decreases, it would be a negative direction. So in this case, as height increases, so does the weight. So we have a positive direction. And as far as the strength goes, that's just how closely do the points fit the form. And in this case, you know, it, this is a pretty decent relationship. I would say it's kind of moderate to strong relationship there because clearly these points do cluster, you know, kind of around where a straight line would go through there. So I would say linear, positive, and moderately strong. So now that I have a graph of the data and I can see that there is a linear relationship between height and weight, my next step would be to calculate numerical summaries and the name of the numerical summary that describes the strength of the linear relationship between x and y is called correlation. So in Minitab, if I want to calculate correlation, I come up to the Stat menu, down to Basic Statistics, and I choose Correlation. It's kind of down here near the bottom. I put in my variables. So in this case, I have height and weight. And for correlation, it doesn't matter what order you put them in weight, height, height, weight, it won't make a difference. It will make a difference in Chapter 5. That's why I bring that up. There's a little box under here that's checked that says display p-values. We don't actually know what p-values are yet, so we can go ahead and uncheck that box, and then we can click on OK. And if I come over here to my session window, then I can see that the correlation is 0.859. So that kind of jives with what I saw on my graph kind of a moderately strong relationship between height and weight. So um, that pretty much covers what we're talking about in Chapter 4, but stay tuned and I'll continue this example for regression in Chapter 5.